the ribbon, cut the ribbon. Now? If you could, I have another appointment. Yeah. Oh, no, but, but before you do, a brief word of thanks to our CEO, Dr Chris Warner, for, for gracing our grand opening with his esteemed presence. You're very welcome. I'm sure you'll find our wonderful new little flower kiosk a most useful addition to the hospital's uh, customer-facing infrastructure. Uh, I think it's been long over... Yeah, ma'am, yeah? we, mm. we need to get on with it. Oh, so sorry, I'm getting so excited. <laughs> I'm just so proud. Now? Yeah, now snip away. I declare this kiosk open. <laughs> so regal, just like the Queen. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> well done, Mum. I'll see you a little later. I certainly hope so. Sorry, what's this? Nothing. Gotta go. Thank you, darling. That'll be like the good old days with you stationed here. Sorry, where? Oh, at the kiosk near the triage desk. Oh, you know me, Chris. I serve where I can. Oh, no, Leanne won't be serving here. No? Oh, absolutely not. No, she's still unwell. But, but recovering. And retired. Sorry, I must have misunderstood. No, no, not at all. No, Roz has to manage the flower shop, so someone needs to staff the kiosk. And here's that someone now. Ready to sell some flowers? Yes, we are. See that? Another sale? Hmm. Oh, don't be like that. Then don't humiliate me in front of Chris Warner. I did nothing of the sort. Oh, telling him I'm all sick and retired. Well, you're recovering still, hon, and we have talked this over. You're supposed to be taking it easy. Oh, but what could be easier than a little light kiosk work? Well, putting your feet up at home for starters. <gasps> I'd be bored. Yes, and today I'll be busy. So it's time you hit it you're off. You're busy doing what? Well, selling flowers. <laughs> You've got young Trixie Bell to do that. Oh, no, no, you're just being silly. And what's with all these sneaky peeks between you and Maeve? Sneaky peeks? And with Nicole. Don't think I haven't noticed. Oh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Is Nicole bullying you? Oh, when is she ever? Getting all director of nursing about my health because it's none of her beeswax. Look, of course it is. She's your daughter. Oh, so she has been going on to you. And that's why I'm cut out of the kiosk. Leanne, I have a lot to do. Yeah, then let me help. Oh, bye, darling. I will call you about lunch. Are you fobbing me off? So, look, if you're not dead in a ditch somewhere, call me back, please. Prince, we're all very worried. How many messages have you left? Don't worry, my plan's got unlimited local calls. Well, get on the blower and find us some bar staff then. We're short for the lunch rush. Oh, do you need more staff? Only always. Right, I'm free. Now, great. No, not great. What? Any port in a storm demo? Not today, she's busy. Doing what? Well, busy recovering from your heart attack. <sighs> Has Roz been on to you? No. Then Nicole, Maeve, they're conspiring against me. It's ridiculous. I'm as fit as a fiddle. Well, I don't know what you're on about, Leanne, but there's a bar shift here if you want it. No, there's not. That's my final word on it. Forget it, then. I'll go where I'm wanted, which is nowhere. Oh, thanks for nothing. Now who are we going to get to play bar wench idiot? It's all right. I know you're not grumpy with me. Want a bet? You're grumpy with yourself for letting Boyd slip through your fingers when you just about had him. I did the right thing. Yeah, you did, sis, because Boyd will never be truly free. Got to hand it to you, Boyd. You're one cool customer under pressure, don't you think? Sure do. That second blood pressure dip, I thought she is a goner. You didn't even bat an eye. Boyd, freckles. Sorry? I'm kissing your surgical butt here and you're ignoring me. Uh, things on my mind, Drew. Things like Kellyanne. She was pretty damn impressive last night. How would you know? You left early. Hello again. What is with freckles? His surgery was a success and his almost girlfriend's funny as a fuck. Girlfriend? Kellyanne! When did that happen? Oh, it hasn't yet. Come on, keep up. Sorry, I've got a lot going on today. Surprise you're even working. If you're as hungover as Dusty there. What do you mean? Don't play the innocent. Harper told me everything. Drinking till all hours with you and Nick. Eh? thought we wrapped it up pretty early. Early? As if. Huh? You always lose track of time when you're hammered. I wasn't hammered. She always does that too. Ah, uh, sprung, you dirty stop out. Yeah, that's me. Lucky we got you, Tom. Keep her honest. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a bit weird, but I was wondering if I could um, get your help just on how the triage desk used to run. Yeah, well, I, I thought we could go for a coffee maybe, you know? I know I don't usually ask for your help, but now that you're of a certain age... Don't you dare bring my age into this. Oh, 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 you're here. So what's going wrong here? Well, 
I can spot a few issues already. Oh, look at the state of your inbox. Look, I just thought maybe we could go for a coffee. We don't want all your years of experience to go to waste like so many elders these days. What are these? Oh, I don't know. Flowers, roses, 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 right? No, I mean, why are they being couriered? Uh... Well, search me. The, the kiosk girl left them here. Oh, silly girl, wasting money. Well, the flowers can't walk themselves there, Leanne. No, but I can deliver them without charging an arm and a leg for the privilege. You can't do that. I'll show them I'm not useless. No, no, give them back. I'm saving Ros money. She's a struggling new business. No, but hang on. You're supposed to be resting. I am not past my use by yet. Just give me them back and no one gets hurt. Bite me. Get a thigh. Oh, running late. I was just for Leanne's big surprise. Yeah, and she doesn't suspect a thing. And the nosy old so-and-so almost always spots when something's up. Like with you and Tom. Okay, what happened? Is he making some sort of trouble? No, no, it's fine. Well, then how come we're all suddenly lying to Drew about who was out late and who wasn't? That shouldn't have happened. Maybe it's not that big a deal. No, it is. It's my fault. Drew just assumed that I was out till all hours with you and Nick and... You let him believe it? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I should have warned you. No, maybe I should have warned you. What about Tom? You kind of already did. <laughs> what, are you going to be okay? Yeah, nothing happened, not really. He, he just made it clear that he's keen. Right. Yeah, and I made it clear that I'm not interested. But I got a bit intense, huh? Yeah. Next minute you're feeling guilty, mixing up your story to Drew. I didn't lie to him. But you let him believe you were out till late with Nick and me. Yeah, I still don't quite know how that happened. I do. Tom happened. Look, I, I love him to bits, but Tom loves to make trouble. Just don't let him cause any in your marriage. She's here now, silly thing. Yeah, but Hodesi, thank you for trying. Bye. I'm not totally useless. I can still deliver a few rotten old flowers. But darling, you didn't have to. <laughs> Wasting money on a courier when I can do it for free. It's ridiculous. Not ridiculous, doctor's orders. Oh, more like my bossy daughter's orders. Leah. No, no, this is typical Nicole, trying to take advantage of a minor medical setback and put me out to pasture. Minor? You had a heart attack. Oh, don't get all correct and condescending. You sound just like your daughter. Maeve's not condescending. Well, you think she'd invented being gay. Well, I'm as good a lesbian as she is. She's just had more practice. Oh, no, no, shush. You're getting upset, Leanne. Well, I was already upset, and that is down to you. Well, why? What did I do? Toss me on the scrap heap, that's what. Hiring a, a young floozy to sell the flowers in the hospital. It should have been me. But darling, you need to rest. I can rest when I'm dead. You think the bloom's gone off my rose? Never. Well, I'll show you, Ros Mullins, just because I love you with all my heart. Doesn't mean I'm going to hang around like a bad smell when I'm not wanted. I'm, I, I'm not desperate, not like, like, like Damo oh, Leanne, or, or weak-minded and no, no, clingy stop. like Nicole. Um, I, she doesn't really mean it, everyone. Who in the blazes are you talking to? Oh, you might as well all come out now. Nicole? May? Damo? Say it to our faces, Leanne. Well, what in the world is going on? Well, now I just feel silly. How come no one invited me to this toxic little tea party? Desi was supposed to bring you later. But what in the dickens for? So I could stand up in front of friends and family and ask you to marry me. Sure, yeah, the truth hurts, right? So Leanne calling you clingy, that must have really stung. I've heard worse. You're calling me desperate, as if. Those days are over, Rover. Yes, Dizzy. See, here comes my luscious lady rushing to be by my side. Well, rushing to join in the good news, though she may be out of luck. So, what did I miss? Are they getting hitched or what? We don't know. My mum's having a crisis. What? She's not going to say no. Well, you did. What's this? Leanne's just milking it. Oi! You two, some of us have jobs. Can we get this show on the road? OK, we have movement. Yeah, you can thank me later. Still got the ring? Yeah. Right, everyone in your positions? Uh, no, just stay where you are. No, no, we're going to do this proposal properly. No, there's no need. It's too late. Mum, no. Cos Ron's already asked me and Leanne's already said yes! Oh, yay! <laughs> yeah. oh. What? What's wrong? You yeah, forgot the ring. Of course. Oh, how could I have done that? Thank you so much. Oh, it's beautiful. 
will have to get you one as well. No. I only need you, Leanne. That's all I need. I love you, Ross. I love you too.